This is Chuck Heston. I was asked by a dear mutual friend of ours to call you and offer a modicum of, well, what one might call comfort in this difficult time in our nation. And by our nation, I mean the nation. The greatest damn country that's ever existed, pre or post Magna Carta. And there is a memorable moment which you can find on the internet web of me holding said rifle and in response to a left-wing journalist said merely from my cold, dead hand. I'm talking, of course, about the precious Second Amendment, which protects us, the civilians of this damn great country, from having our arms stripped away, a guarantee that was given to us from our founding fathers in the blessed Second Amendment to protect us not just from enemies that are foreign or those that are domestic but the very tyranny of the overreaching government itself. I was taken back by the filmmaker Roger, Roger, was it Roger Moore, a so-called documentarian who I would classify more as a satirist and a not very ironic or funny one at that. Irony, of course, being when the inferred meaning is opposite to the literal one. I had embraced him in my home, welcomed him with nothing short of arthritically opened arms, only to see his warm demeanor, in retrospect, be what some might call a Trojan horse in the way he portrayed me as a race-baiting nationalist right-wing maniac. Nothing could be further from the truth. Nothing. I had the first screen kiss in a little picture called The Omega Man. The first screen kiss, you say? There have been so many. Yes, but mine was with a young black or African-American woman. Never been done in a picture in these United States prior. I marched for civil rights in our great nation, something that Herbert Walker Bush voted against when he was first in office. And I think if one reviews all my pictures over the years, from my first circus picture when I was discovered by Mr. DeMille, to one of my last pictures, besides seeing some of the best hair pieces ever created by a man or woman, And besides seeing some solid performances in pictures where the challenge for the actor was to stand strong against the epic nature of the script, I think 
one will find nothing short of consistency. And that is what I wish for our great nation. Consistency. That we deliver to the promise that all men, mostly with property, are created equal in our pursuit of life, liberty, and the pursuit of property. I mean, happiness. So take heart, relax, smoke your marijuana as it slowly becomes legal in this great nation of ours. And know that demagogues, sycophants, and oligarchs, and kleptocrats will always be safe in our America because people like me and people like the young Clint Eastwood or Jonathan Voigt will always weigh capitalism above true civility and democracy and will always hold those with right-wing ideology in the higher esteem than the communist left-wing pinkos who, by all accounts, are flushing our great nation down the drain in this United States of amnesia. A flippant comment made by Mr. Gore Vidal on more than one occasion. I'm sorry for the slurring in some of my opinion, but I have a whiskey and water that I must nurse in an effort to dissolve the glue that holds my little toupee and thus will make it easier to remove. Later on this evening, when I get back from my cocktail party, where I will be meeting with Chad Everett, who you might want to see on video, where he makes unusual comments about his relationship with his wife. So upsetting to fellow star Lily Tomlin that she walked off the set of that little show. I was going to sing you a song, but quite frankly, I can't find my glasses. Be well.